express, recover, adapt. It's made up as a concept to allow coaches to know where to really have a framework and understanding as to what people should be doing in exercise. We want to have some kind of principles in place to ensure that what we're giving them as stimulus is effective. And if that ideal is growth, then you work backwards from that. So grow is actually at the end, and which is called adaptation. And adaptation needs to mean that there is learning taking place and that you're better than what you were before you started. Now, in order to get there, you need to recover from whatever you've expressed. And working backwards from that, recovery means that you're capable now of doing another stressful component that's possibly higher than the initial expression that you tried to attempt, and that it still leads to you getting better. Now we work backwards to expression. Expression can be perceived as coming in many different forms because people think that when you do something, you're expressing. So the way I like to give the analogy of it, there are people doing, let's say, burpees in a metabolic environment out there, and because they look like burpees, people think they're expressing it but they're actually not doing burpees. They're just falling to the ground and then standing back up. In a mechanical and metabolic environment, when people try to express things that they can't actually express, they will learn how to survive as opposed to truly expressing that which that they want to express. And they will have a really hard time recovering multiple different systems to come back and be better at that expression. So what ends up happening is that when they get into this recovery aspect, their brain and a bunch of other systems say, you just basically did the best thing possible to survive what you just did as a stimulus. That then tells your entire system and your autonomic function and homeostatic mechanisms to say, we need to do whatever is possible to ensure they can try to express that again. Now this is built on a base of a compensatory model of adaptation because they didn't actually express what they wanted to express in this context a burpee. They did a lot of flopping. They can't control the movement. And now their brain is like, oh, if you want to do that movement over and over, well, this is what we got to do. Mechanically and metabolically, your body creates compensatory patterns to ensure you get to do that again. And that leads to a compensation and not growth. Because if it was growth, you would come back and be better at form and technique and position of that burpee the next time you did it. But it doesn't do that. So you actually don't come back and adapt from that really shitty expression of that from the beginning. There's numerous analogies I can use to discuss that, but that's what we mean when we say express, recover, and grow. You need to actually be able to express what you want to express, right, and what the goal is of doing it. And then you'll know if it's effectively expressed because you'll be able to recover from it because it was expressed under this base support that allowed you to recover. If you can't recover and adapt and get better and learn and you don't come back to homeostasis and even more after that stress, then it was useless for you to even try to express what you were trying to express.